Tempo of Kotmogu is a map that not a lot of players like, or rather, some players really like, and a lot of them really don't. And it's one of those maps that's sort of hard to figure out. Uh, a lot of players don't even realize the rules of the map and how object objectives work and how people get points. There's a lot of misconceptions that you have to be in middle all the time. There's a lot of misconceptions about uh, picking up orbs, who should do it, and when to do it. There's just a lot of confusion around that map. And on top of it all, it's one of those maps that's really hard to call strategy for because people are kind of all over the, the place. And because of that confusion of objectives, it's really hard to really get some good team cohesion going. Last night, I ran with a couple of friends, an RBG group that went really well. Uh, aside from myself, the rogue and the hunter in this group, or in this uh, BG that I'm about to show you, everybody else is, is just completely a pug. No references, nothing, just completely out of out of group finder but it went really well and this is a kind of a different type of video i'm giving it a try let me know in the comments what you think i'm basically going to talk a little bit about our comp how the rbg went the strat and some of the key factors that led to our success and then basically just play the whole bg in full and uh, the goal that i have here is that you can really hear how a uh, uh, well uh, synchronized and, and well put together RBG team sounds. You're gonna hear my voice calling strat, you're gonna call, I'm also calling targets a lot of times, but there's a lot of times where other players are filling in for me, which is great. And you're gonna hear the types of things that they're saying. There isn't a lot of chit chat going on. It is very objective and it works out really well to our benefit on this map. So the first thing I wanna talk about is the group comp that we went with. Now, when I put together groups, I like to win more than I like to lose. It's not so much about pushing rating or being super competitive, uh, but in general, my goal when putting together an RPG group is to win more often than I lose. Losing is just sort of inevitable. That's what happens when you play competitively. Uh, I've accepted that. But so long as we're, we're being competitive and we're pushing our strengths and doing pretty well against other teams most of the time, I'm happy for the night. The comp that we put together uh, here was a Holy Priest, a Mistweaver Monk, a Resto Druid for our heals, and those, I'll tell you what, those are hard to find in Group Finder lately. Not a lot of people are playing heals. So once we got those, then we pretty much filled in with our pick of DPS. There's kind of like 20 DPS in Group Finder for every healer you find. Uh, myself as an Affliction Lock, an Assassin Rogue, and a uh, BM Hunter, both of those were buddies of mine from last season, and I still keep in touch with them. And what else did we have? A Fire Mage, and then kind of, uh, kind of the, the key factor of this whole group comp was three Havoc Demon Hunters. And those three Demon Hunters, uh, just despite nerfs, <laughs> they are the new class. They are very powerful. They hit really hard. They are fairly consistently top damage for our team, and they make just uh, a real problem for the other team to deal with. They shine more so on other maps where there's more proper team fights, but they in this map also they do top out da damage pretty well. And they're also very versatile classes, very agile, great for picking up orbs, get, great for getting into the center of Temple of Kamogu, that area, uh, killing stuff and getting back out very quickly. So those were uh, key factors towards our success in this particular BG. The strategy I went with, if you can call it a strategy, is in general, we're going to try and hold three orbs. That's our goal. Never four, because if you, if you go for four, you're really opening yourself up for a full team wipe. And the last thing you want on this map is to get into a split res situation. So we go for three orbs, we give them one, and we try and hold those three as long as possible. Uh, when we start, we, p we chose to pick up orbs. Picking up orbs, it opens you up to get qu killed quickly, but on the same token, having an orb in your possession uh, amplifies your damage, and you kind of want that in that opening fight. 
So uh, I know there's a lot of strats floating out there where you don't pick up orbs. I've tried them. Uh, I've had success kind of either way, depending on the group. In this case, I chose to pick up orbs at the beginning, and, and I assigned uh, myself and the hunter to do that so that we could have our, our demon hunters and our rogue kind of be our, our forward attack squad with the mage ready to pick up whatever dropped first. Other than that, really didn't have an opener to this strat. Uh, we never pushed middle. I know that's also a contradictory thing to say. But uh, if you watch the people that go into middle, they generally don't come out again. <laughs> and it's more important to pick up an orb and hold it longer than it is to have it in middle. If you hold an orb in middle, you get five points per tick. If you hold it on the outside, not by the graveyards, but you know outside of the middle area, you still get four points per tick. And that's, if you can stay alive longer, that's better than pushing middle. So we, we, until the very end for a, a fun victory rush, we didn't push middle. Uh, what we did do is we kited around the edges, or if we had all three orbs and we could group up reasonably, we would get into a corner and kind of post up with all our healers, with people LOSing as best we could, and we would just try and kill whatever came in first. The other team in this case wasn't very good about regrouping. They kind of tended to trickle in. And when you do that against a group that's all posted up and grouped up and ready to go, 1v10 doesn't work out in your favor. So we were able to kill them fairly consistently, you know, one at a time, two at a time, as they trickled in, holding our three orbs generally. And then with the Demon Hunter mobility, with the Rogue and um, the Mage as well, we were able to pick up orbs fairly quickly. Uh, the one thing that we did not do very well in, I, I will say up front, is that we had healers picking up orbs, but on the same token, uh, they were available, and sometimes that happens. So as a general rule, you want to kind of avoid having your healers picking up orbs. Uh, in this BG particularly, we did have our Resto Druid picking up a few times, and it was just because it was either that or give them an orb and then we have to go kill that person again um and you, you want to try and avoid those situations but it wasn't a hard and fast rule that i laid down at the beginning and so it, we kind of f uh, fudged around that a little bit in the end it worked lastly before we jump into the bg recording itself i want to highlight something a team dynamic <laughs> that was key to our success you can go through and have the perfect strategy and the right group comp and you'll still fail. And that's what's frustrating about this map to a lot of people, is that they try and look up the, the magic recipe for their comp and, uh, and, and lay down some opening strategy. And then they say, okay, this is gonna work. But then they have a bunch of people who aren't talking and communicating. And that is huge in this particular map. You need to be talking, you need to be communicating. And here are some of the things that you need to be saying. You need to be saying, kill this target and it's got to be something very descriptive like their class uh kill uh, cc such a target you'll hear uh throughout this bg particularly our resto druid was very good about calling out ccs of anything that was killing her uh pick up this color uh i'll jump to the bottom of this avoid saying me or i you know, a lot of people get in here and, then, and, and you'll hear me do it once or twice as well. I'm not perfect, but uh, uh, and I get reminded too by my own team. <laughs> Never say me or I because nobody knows who that is, especially with pugs. But even without pugs, it's so much better to say your own class or the color you're carrying because those are relevant things. So pick up a color, not pick up my color. Pick up the color that you're, you're carrying or the one that you're killing. And, uh, or maybe you're ready, you'll, hear, you'll see me a few times and a few other people uh, ready for orbs to drop, either because uh, our, own, our own orb carriers have been holding the orbs for, very, for a long time, and they've built up a lot of stacks, and they're getting hit on, and they've called out saying, hey, I'm gonna, about to die. So uh, once in a while you hear people saying, okay, I'm ready for you to die, <laughs> or I'm ready for that target to die. That's very useful to know. It also provides some input to prioritization for targets. If you've got two colors of orbs that you can be targeting, and somebody says, I'm ready for purple to drop, you kill the purple one, because that one's a good transition, one that we can pick up real quick. Um, lastly, group up on a particular location. 
and you'll hear me as the strat caller. This is about as much as I do as a strat caller in this BGI. I provide the the uh, opener, and then for the most part, I just kind of pick out locations for us to group up at. And you're constantly in sort of reset mode throughout the entire BG. So you'll hear me say, group up at green corner, group up on the stairs, group up you know, in various parts of the map, always in relation to something very specific. Never group up around me. Again, don't say me, don't say I. It's go to green corner, purple corner, orange corner, go between there, go to the zerk in between the stairs, or jump in middle, but never me or I. All right, that said, I'm going to play the uh, BG. I'm not doing any commentary over top of it because uh, even though there are some uh, silent spots here and there, for the most part, <laughs> we're very vocal in, uh, in chat, in curse. Everybody on my team is calling out the things that I've just listed off in this list throughout the BG. And if you get halfway through watching this BG and you've got the point about communication and how it should work, and uh, then feel free to uh, leave or go back to your game. Just uh, drop me a like and subscribe. Leave me a comment. Let me know how your own BGs are going this week. And I will see you again next week with another video. Those demon hunters are going to hurt. Foxy, I always go left. Yeah, I switched it up this time. Well, I don't like that. It's just an instinct. Go left. Okay, don't spread out too much. I'm catching up behind you guys. They have orange sitting in mid. Let's uh, focus on blue orb and get ready to pick it up. Let's kill this demon hunter in this corner over here. I got a rogue on me and back. Rogue and pally on me. Cloning the paladin. Who's me again? Uh, box, sorry, the lock. Kill that rogue. No, Pally's still on me, on Foxy. Pally's feared. Feared again. Pick up blue. We need someone in blue. Cloning the hunter. Purple's down. Shit. Mine's going down. All your color. Oh, I'm always purple. You switch it up. <laughs> green. Green's going down. I'm resing in green corner in 10. Uh, it's already up, though. Purple's up. Let's try and group up. Oh, up too, uh, let's group up. Don't get all four uh, orbs. Kill him, dude. Group up in green corner. We lose Loudwire, do not pick up the fourth one. Just leave it at three. Guys, Berserk buff is up. Oh wait, never mind. We only have two. Somebody drop. I think if that you... was the eleventh person. If you're in green corner, kill Swag the rogue. I'm on Swag, killing him. Swag can die, execute range. Someone get ready to pick up green? Green is dead. Oh, that rogue got to it. Orange is down. We're killing Bird Blur right now. Actually, I'm... I can. Let's go green, yeah? I'm in green corner. My way to purple. Blue. Up purple. Blue's up. I'm ready for green. Blueberries is gonna take blue. I got green. Uh, we got yeah, we orbs do. all over. Let's meet in green purple side. Green purple side. Let them get orange. Let's group up. Group up in green. We need healers here. Focus this mage down. I'm gonna try an LOS back here. We 
We need three or all right, we're holding green corner for now. If you're in green corner, kill the demon hunter who's on us. I have a rogue on me, uh, blue. Kill the rogue, swag. Fearing him. Thank you. Our right, blue's going down. Blue's down. Fuck, I was all tabbed. My bad. I'm going to get blue this quick. Green's going down. Get ready for green to get. I got a rogue on me. Rogue on Foxy. Green's up, green's up. Nice pickup. Let's bring everybody to green corner. We need to dominate that corner. We're actually killing them there. Purple's up, purple's up, purple's up. Get orbs and bring them to green corner. I'm not up to call a target there, so. Uh, get on swag this road. Thank you. Green zone. All right, we need to group up and kill some orbs. We've lost all our orbs. Uh, blueberries is taking blue again. All right, let's group up at blue. Oh, the Zerg is up, huh? They're bringing the blue. They're gonna push mid. There's a uh, purple and mid. Get ready for purple. Get berserk buff, guys. Ready for purple or green? Or orange. Green's up. I thought you were trying to get orange. That ready? They're getting green. Go green. Okay, I'll, I'll cover you. I'm meeting green. I'm going green corner with blue. Okay, we got four orbs, you guys. Be careful. Okay, never mind. We got three. Let's get on this mage right here. Let's kill him real fast over at green corner. I've got a warlock here at green. Blue's going down. I'm grabbing orange. Blue's okay for now. Thank you. Someone grab purple. I'm up in the way. Blue's being targeted. Kill this Blue's hunter going down. that's on blue. Blue's down. Orange is down. Heading to orange. Zerk's up by orange and purple. Ooh, green's going down. Fuck. Target this uh, demon hunter at green. Nice kill. kill. Oh, shit. All right, uh, purple's up. I got orange. All oh, three orange are up, you guys. Purple. Add to purple, someone. They got three. Green is up. Can someone pick it up? Somebody get grab, grab. I really don't want a healer to pick it up again. Had to pick it up like three times. I'm 
I'm on my way, I'll grab it at the store. Oh, we've got it. Thanks, so. Orange is going down. Head to Orange. Down. Oh, I'm about to grab it. I'm heading to purple. Let's stack up in green corner. Nuke that lock in green corner. But I'm having fun with him. Orange is going to kill. Oh, he's gonna kill me. Blueberries, I need to heal. <laughs> oh, yes. Kill that lock. There we go. Demon Hunter, Demon Hunter. Fearing the Mist Weaver. Kill the Demon Hunter. Eat her north. Dead. Oh, something on me, Rogue. Shit. Green's going down. Get ready for green to drop. Pick it up, pick it up. Good pick. Purple is going down. Get ready to pick up purple. On my way to purple now. Down, purple's down. I got it. Everyone go mid. We need 50 points to win. GG. Good job, everyone. Aside from our demon hunters, they kind of wrecked us in damage, but we played smarter.